everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see y'all virtually. I hope everybody is doing well in the pandemic. Um, just wanted to come back and start shooting some more videos. So here we're gonna, today we're gonna talk a little bit about theory, which is something I haven't done in a while. Um, quite some time ago, I did a video about the same topic. I felt like I needed to redo it because it is buried in my channel from three or so, four years ago. So I thought I would do an updated version of it for y'all who are new to the channel, who maybe haven't dug deep into uh, all the older videos I did. Um, so what we're gonna talk about today simply is, is modes. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how to use those in a minor pentatonic world. So you can kind of both use your pentatonic scale and these modes to make your uh, improvisation more interesting. So uh, what I'm gonna do is that first I'm just gonna quickly just talk about modes if you're not you know used to understanding or ha haven't studied theory at all and you kind of haven't gotten deep into the weeds with modes. If you have, just fast forward a little bit <laughs> to see how I do it and how I use it. But for those of you that don't know what modes are, at its most simplistic nature and how I, I look at them is, so you have seven notes in a major scale, right? So you've got, and then back to your octave. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to your one. What modes are is basically um, playing the same major scale from the next scale degree. So the first mode, and I'm not gonna go through all the modes and teach these because that's a, that's a big um, field to kind of, to mow down. But like, so let's just talk about um, the Ionian scale or mode. So I just basically went up two octaves, all right? That's the Ionian. Modes, if we talk about Dorian, which is the next one, because the next chord in G major is A minor, right? So what we're gonna do is play the G major scale, but starting on A. So instead of G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, we're gonna go A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and then continue. But that same scale, so if I loop this scored, and I play Dorian, what it is and then as we move up we move into Phrygian and then Lydian and then Mixolydian and so forth and so on but all we're doing is is playing that same major scale over um, starting at the next scale degree so G A B C D so when we get to C that's Lydian uh, Mixolydian would be starting on D just playing the same notes of the G major scale but I don't want to go deep into that. We can do that another time. What I would like to do is talk about it in the context of um, let's let's pretend we are playing in um, the relative minor of G major, which if you don't know how to find the relative minor, you just go to the six chord of that scale. So the six chord of G is one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. E. And the sixth chord in a major scale diatonically is E minor. So if you're on an E minor vamp in a groove, we're there. You should probably doing this. So there's your E minor pentatonic, okay? So let's, let's continue to do that. I'm gonna play the E minor pentatonic 
a little bit for maybe like 20 seconds or so and then I'm going to start to weave in G major which is the relative major just to make things sound a little bit more interesting um, bringing out a little bit more melody within that harmony you're going to hear some things that sound a little bit more jazz leaning I guess so here we go So right then, so I was playing, you know, just regular E pentatonic, just those five notes of the pentatonic scale. Um, about 30 seconds in there or so, I started to weave in G major. So let's do that one more time. Pay attention to when you start to hear different notes, right? I'm going to spell it out clear as day, so. see it's just taking little bits and pieces of the G major scale making sure that we're staying true to the pentatonic vibe <clears throat> and then like not spending too much time on landing on specific notes either so um, for instance a C over that chord not the greatest but let's check out some other notes there's your G it's your A. Right, let's go up to the B. That's C. That's C there. Not the greatest. It wants to hear a C sharp. That sounds great. So, let me go back there. I'm going to start again. I'm going to go from here, starting in G major. I'm going to go all the way up, and then I'm going to get up here. I'm going to switch back to the pentatonic scale. So pay attention to that. here there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with just those two different ideas using your major scale mode against your um, you know your minor pentatonic scale just to add color um, even if you're in the midst of the middle of the neck playing some of that pentatonic box 
if you know your modes and you know geographically where you are on the neck at that very moment, just switch and you've got a whole other plethora of notes to pull from and a lot of more color to paint with. Um, so here, let me do this real quick because I feel like those high notes were getting in the way. Ah, my bad. frees you up on your fretboard 150 million percent now if i were to change keys somewhere let's just pretend let's just pretend we're in the key of uh i don't know let's just do a minor at that point you just have to find if you're in the key of a minor you've got to go up to your relative major so in this case your relative major since the a is the sixth chord right is c major so if you're chilling on a minor, same concept. Applies, you, now you're in C major, so. same vibe it's just a whole bunch of notes that you can pull from uh, I don't want to make this video too long but I just wanted to explain this concept briefly and uh, if you have questions about anything you know put it in the chat below uh, in the comments below let me know if you uh, have any other questions about this type of thing if you would want more videos about these concepts I am super on board with making more of these again I did them a long time ago but I feel like it's they're collecting dust and uh, it's another thing that kind of needs to be talked about. So, yeah, have fun with that. Grab a looper, uh, grab a friend to play some rhythm, try to practice this stuff. Remember, all you're doing if you're in a minor vamp, which means you're st a static chord, like that, you just need to think about, okay, it's a minor chord, I need to find what the relative major is, and then I can weave that relative major, modally speaking, so Ionian, you know, through... Um, Aeolian, whatever you want to do, using all those different notes. And this, by the way, this really helps you learn your fretboard better, 110%. Um, you'll start to, you know, kind of connect the dots, as it were, and stop looking at frets and, and dot markers, uh, but you'll start looking at it as notes on your fretboard, and you'll start to see relationships, which is cool, which is really is kind of the next level game-changing moment as a, as a guitarist. So hopefully that's cool, guys. Hopefully you dug that. I'm sorry it's short. I don't want to spend too much time. I don't want to make this ridiculously long, but definitely have fun with it. And like I said, let me know if there's other videos you'd like me to do on you know topics like this. We can just kind of branch out from the tree. All right. Thanks for stopping by again, guys. I will see you next time. Take care.